Hi students, welcome to my channel study care. Now we are going to talk class 10th NCRT example. Chapter 2 Polynomials, Exercise 2.2, Second Sum, 4th Subdivision. What are you saying? If two of the zeros of a cubic polynomial are zero, then it does not have linear and constant terms. Sorry, solve it. So, one cubic polynomial let the cubic polynomial p of x equal to a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d let alpha beta gamma be the zeros of the cubic polynomial where enna kuduthirukranga given that two of its zeros are zero abina enna artham appo nama enna pannalam alpha beta alpha beta gamma vandu idoda zeros in the beta va equal to 0 eduthukruvom mm -hmm. gamma va equal to 0 nu eduthukruvom mm appa -hmm. zeros in factor form adu eppadi irukum so p of x equal to x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma ipa idhula beta vum gamma vum enna va irukku zero Upper x minus alpha, x minus zero, x minus zero. Set. So, if we multiply it, we will x square minus alpha x. That is the x which we multiply it. So, we will x cube minus alpha x square. Upper. So, if two, zero, two of the zeros of a cubic polynomial are zero, then it does not have linear and constant term. Now, if we have a constant term, then it is not constant term. That is why it is not linear. Then, so, the statement vandu, which implies that the statement is true. Ipa, it does not have linear and constant term. Adhanala, this statement is true. Thank you.